Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Juan Luis Polo. I'm an Associate Solutions Architect here at AWS. I joined approximately two years ago and I specialized in analytics. Today I'm going to demo how to set up an Amazon OpenSearch ingestion pipeline using S3 as the source of data and an Amazon OpenSearch serverless collection as the sync of that data. But first, let's start with a brief intro about Amazon OpenSearch ingestion service. Amazon OpenSearch Ingestion is a fully managed serverless data collector that delivers real-time log, metric, and trace data to Amazon OpenSearch service domains or Amazon serverless collections. Since OpenSearch Ingestion is a serverless service, you don't need to worry about provisioning servers, managing and patching software, or scaling your clusters. You provision ingestion pipelines directly within the AWS management console, and OpenSearch Ingestion takes care of managing and scaling them. With OpenSearch Ingestion, you no longer need to use third-party solutions like Logstash or Jagger to ingest data into your OpenSearch service domains or OpenSearch serverless collections. You configure your data producers to send data to OpenSearch Ingestion, and then it automatically delivers the data to the domain or collections that you specify. For this demo, we are going to use the S3 SQS processing, which consists in near real-time of scanning uh, files once they are in the S3 bucket. I'm going to follow the instructions in this AWS piece of documentation that I'm going to link in the description of this video. Um, we can click in Amazon S3 as the source, since this is our use case. And you can see here there is a list of prerequisites right, that we have to fulfill before starting building our pipeline. First is to have an S3 bucket available, then create an Amazon SQS queue, then enable the event notifications on the S3 bucket with the SQS queue as the destination of those uh, event notifications. Additionally, we need to give the OpenSearch ingestion pipeline that we create both network and data access into the OpenSearch serverless collection. Once you complete all the prerequisites to build the pipeline, you can go ahead and click on the step number one, which is configure the pipeline role. The S3 source plugin has a read-based architecture, which means that the pipeline will actually pull data from the S3 bucket in order to start moving that data into, into the OpenSearch collection in this case. In order to do that, uh, the pipeline needs access permissions, right? So let's create a role with appropriate access permissions to both the S3 bucket and the SQS queue and attach that role to the pipeline. To start building the pipeline role, let's move into the AWS Management Console and look for IAM. Within IAM, open the left pane. Let's click here on their policies. And in policies, let's create a new policy. Once you are here, go ahead and click on JSON so you can programmatically edit your policy. For the content of the policy, we're gonna use the template that is provided in the AWS documentation. So let's go back to the documentation. And this is the sample policy that we're gonna copy. Notice that you have to change the bucket name and the SQSQ ARN. So copy your policy, go back to your IAM dashboard, and let's remove this and replace it by our template. Again, we have to change this bucket name and we have to change the ARN of our SQSQ. And for the ARN of the SQSQ, go to your queue details, and here under ARN, you can copy the ARN, go back to your policy and paste it. Cool, click on next. We can give our policy a name. In our case, I'll call it um, S3 SQS OSI policy. And you can give a description. I have already one prepared here. And with that, we can go ahead and click on Create Policy. Additionally, we need to give the OpenSearch ingestion pipeline right access into the serverless collection. And for that, we're going to create another policy followed with instructions in the screen. So this piece of documentation is linked in the description of the video too. Um, it's called Granting Amazon OpenSearch Ingestion Pipelines Access to Collections. If you scroll down a little bit, um, we can see that there are several steps here so let's go to the create pipeline role because this is the one that we are on right now um, and this is a sample policy that we can use to create our policy okay let's navigate into the aim dashboard as before click on policies once we are here let's create another policy following the same steps as before 
click on JSON. So now let's go back into the documentation that I just shown and copy the um, inline policy. Let's move back into the IAM dashboard and paste that policy. And with that, we can click on next. Let's give the policy a name. And let's click on create policy. Perfect. So next step will be to create the row. And for that, let's navigate into the AIM dashboard. And from here, left pane, click on rows. From here, let's cre click on create new row or create row. Select AWS service. And for the use case, select open search ingestion pipelines. So it will create a trusted relationship with the open search ingestion pipeline service, basically. And let's click on next. Here is where we can select the permission policies that we can attach to that role. And for that, let's select the ones that we have created previously. OSI collection access and S3 SQS OSI policy. Click on next. Let's give the role a name. In my case, I'm going to call it S3 SQS OSI role. This is the trust. Uh, trusted relationship that I was mentioning before and the policies that we are attaching and we can click on create role. So before proceeding with the actual creation of the pipeline, we have to make sure that the pipeline role has data access to the collection. So for that, we need to include this new role that we just created in the data access policy from the open search serverless collection. Let's do this in the AWS console. So from the Amazon open search service dashboard, Let's open the left pane um, and let's select the collection that we created before, which is this one, the S3 search collection. From here, if we scroll down, you will see the network policies and also the data access policy. So let's click on this data access policy. We need to include the role that we just created. And for that, let's click on edit and in add principles, let's select IAM users and roles and let's select the new S3 SQS OSI role. So once this role is selected, you can click on save and finally click on save. So once the role is created and added into the data access policy from the collection, we can go ahead and create the pipeline. Perfect, so now let's start building our pipeline. From the AWS management console, look for open search. Great. From the open search dashboard, if you don't have this open, open the left pane, scroll down and click on the ingestion side, for example, in pipelines. And from pipelines, let's click on create pipeline. Um, from here, we are able to select different blueprints. Blueprints are basically pre-configured YAML templates for common ingestion scenarios. And these blueprints help you provision pipelines without having to start uh, building it from scratch, basically. So they are pretty useful. In this case, we're going to use the S3 SQS blueprint. So let's look here for S3. And we are going to select this S3 logs um, because it listens to S3 Amazon SQS notifications. So let's click on the S3 logs and select blueprint. Great, so first step will be to configure the pipeline settings that we can see here. Let's give our pipeline a, na a name. In my case, it'll be S3 SQS demo pipeline. The persistent buffer, we're gonna uh, keep it disabled since we can consider this just for production environment. As per the pipeline capacity, we can configure the minimum and maximum capacity of our pipeline measured in OCUs. OCUs are open search computing units, um, and each of them is a combination of approximately uh, 8 gigabytes of memory and two virtual CPUs. For this demo, we can de leave the default values of two uh, OCUs for minimum capacity and four OCUs for maximum capacity. Great, so after the pipeline settings, we can edit the pipeline configuration. So in this pipeline configuration is where we can specify source, sync, and processor of the data. So what I did was bring in the code from the blueprint into my uh, local code editor for simplicity. And here I modified all the appropriate parameters. Um, once you finish the configuration of your pipeline, the final configuration file should look something similar to this. 
uh, with the source properly configured, with the SQSQ URL defined, um, the role ARN that we defined before specified here, same for the sync with the open search endpoint provided, the role um, and the index that the pipeline should create for dumping the data in it. Now I'm going to copy the code from this code editor back into the um, pipeline configuration and validate the code. Perfect. So our pipeline is configured. We can click on validate pipeline to see us at a high level if we have configured everything appropriately or we have made any, any spelling mistake, for example. In the network configuration, leave it as public access just for uh, the purpose of this demo. And finally, we can click on next. This will leave us to a review and create page when we can review all the details that we have entered, including the pipeline configuration, and finally create pipeline. This can take five to 10 minutes to have the pipeline up and running. While the pipeline is creating, I'm going to show you that the OpenSearch collection that we have is empty. So from the collection dashboard, let's click on the OpenSearch dashboards URL. And from the OpenSearch dashboards, let's navigate into the dev tools. This operation here lists information related to the indexes that we have in the collection. So let's run it. And we can see that there's no info related to any index within the um, collection. So this means that it's empty. And after approximately five to seven minutes, the pipeline is created. So now let's go ahead and test it out. For testing the pipeline, we're going to use the Amazon PQA dataset. This dataset is divided by uh, Amazon product categories and it contains uh, information related questions and answers. For this demo, I'm going to use the car category. And instead of using the whole bunch of questions that we have, because you can see that there's a lot of information within one single data set, I'm going to take just a subset of, qu of questions. Uh, I just took six questions and I put it into this car subset JSON file. Let's took the file, upload it into the S3 bucket. Let's click on upload. Okay, the upload is, su is successful. Let's move into our queue. Let's see what happens with the queue. So this message here is the S3 event saying that there's a new object created. Now moving back into open search dashboards, if we run again this command, we will see there's a new index created, Amazon PQA, and it contains information already. We can use the search command to see what it, what it has inside. But it basically contains all the information that we uploaded from uh, the file. So in this video, I showed you how to set up an Amazon OpenSearch ingestion pipeline using the S3 to SQS processing, with S3 being the source of the data, SQS listening to events happening in the S3 bucket, and the pipeline ingesting data into an Amazon OpenSearch serverless collection index. Check out the description of this video for all the documentation and references related to it, and continue exploring this YouTube channel for more demos around Amazon OpenSearch service. I hope you liked this video and I will see you in the next one.